Right. Welcome back. This is part two of FuelTech FT four fifty two J series. Uh, we're gonna be understanding wiring a little bit today, and the method that I'm showing here is probably one of the easiest ways to install it, and also can technically be used on any engine as long as you have enough inputs and outputs. So let's go. Okay. So now we have our map generated and we have our wiring diagram from fuel tech and there we have injector number one is one okay so that's cylinder one so the injector is still running as a sequential fully sequential each cylinder is the actual cylinder that shows you here, like number one goes to number one, number two goes to number two, etc. etc. If you're running um, batch injection or semi sequential, it's actually number one. So, there you go. So number one wire goes to cylinder number one and five. Number two is not actual cylinder number two from fuel take. It is actually cylinder number three and four. And cylinder number six, I mean cylinder number three on the wiring will be um cylinder two and six so this is if you're running semi-sequential you, you actually don't run to cylinder number two you run to the second phase of injection technically or whatever cylinder is next on that injection time So in your, let's go back to the wiring. Let's start with the sensors. We're gonna use orange for the sensors. So we have, you're not cutting any wire on the sensors. This is what you're gonna do. This is your sensor signal. And then you're coming from fuel tech. I'm gonna use brown for this, so we don't get confused. This is coming from fuel tech. Fuel tech. Let's say this is the TPS signal. Okay. You don't cut any of the wires in the sensors. What you're gonna do is you're gonna run your wire from the fuel tick and join it to that input. Which, uh, for example, on this one will be pin number, let's see, pin number 22. So 22. So pin number 22 goes to the signal on the TPS. And then go IAT, which is air intake temperature. Air intake temperature is pin number 21. FT21. Oh, hold on. 21. Pin number 21. Same thing. It goes to the signal, the signal wire on the IAT. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys get the idea. I hope you do. Uh, let's say engine temp as your coolant temperature. Same thing, your signal wire and your signal wires to the 
engine temp or most known as ECT that's your coolant wire will be pin number 23 20 engine coolant temperature is pin number 23 from fuel tech <laughs> you're gonna join it here don't cut just add it to that signal because we want the stock sensor and the ECU to still read all of this and the fuel tech too so you get the idea with the sensors right all the inputs go like that. Now your O2, that's your Y band. Uh, don't run it to a stock sensor, run it to a Y band. Your Y band, it depends on which Y band you're using. If you get a Nano, uh, they have a uh, canvas. If you decide to go with like an AEM, for example, um, AEM comes with uh, white wire but I don't have white uh, no. it comes with a brown wire the brown wire this is just an example this is how mine is I'm running AEM the brown wire you have to ground it and your white wire will go to O2 general which is pin 20 pin 20 from FT that one goes to this one that's on the AM Y band or the one I have at least so you gotta check on the wiring for yours so we're gonna leave that out but just so you get the idea uh, wheel speed front same thing you run it to the signal the thing is uh, you just gotta check which pin is coming from the fuel tech so wheel speed is 24 pin 24 goes to the signal on the wheel speed front because the front wheel drive now cam signal RPM reference all of that is the same thing they're all gonna run like that so we'll get to that later I'll show you each pin that you have to use but just so you understand what we're doing with the wiring if you don't have an idea on how to do it uh, okay now we're gonna go with the injectors In, uh, this is what you're gonna do with the injectors injectors let's say this is our injector right we got two pins on the injector I hope you don't get amused with my amazing drawings I don't don't mind my amazing drawings let's say this is your injector right we have injector one two three and four five six they're all gonna be pretty much same thing you have one that is fit by the stock ECU as a 12 volt positive same on this one 12 volt positive 12 volt positive and then the other side is the negative side and those are different colors you might have a blue one red one uh, green one uh, 
these are the wires that are going to your blue outputs so this is injector one right this wire you actually cut in it all these negatives the positives stay the same those are usually going to be the same color all and now you're running your fuel tech wires to each injector say fuel tech cylinder one pin number one if t number one will come to cylinder uh, injector one if t number two will go to injector number two if t pin number three will go to injector number three etc 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 right so, uh, this is if you're running fully sequential this is how you're gonna run your injectors same injector four now your software might generate a different map do not guide yourself with this guide yourself with the one that the software gives you when you do your map now let's go with the ignition coils so you have your ignition coil right okay the ignition coils are actually running on wasted spark because we don't have enough outputs to go fully sequential but it's not gonna hurt anything so when we go to ignition coils it's gonna be a wasted spark that's gonna be different now so you're not gonna run it like the injectors you're gonna find your signal wire we're still gonna use orange for signal so say these are your signal wires or your trigger wires to the coils so we're cutting the trigger wires those are gonna be cut from the from the stock ECU your trigger wires right so there is no trigger coming from the ECU Cylinder one, cylinder two, and I messed it up. And cylinder three, right? That's what fuel tech says right there. The pins. On the plug are pin number A, pin number nine, and pin number ten. This is your motor. This is how it's uh, numbered. This is cylinder number one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the timing belt side. And we're running wasted spark, so we are checking on the engine setup. The engine setup says the order is one, four, two, five three and six so you're gonna pair these cylinders for the triggers so we're going one and five which is the first the first one the first cylinder on fuel tech So we go back to wiring 
says cylinder number one goes to pin number eight. Then we have cylinder number two, which is not the actual cylinder. This is where a lot of people get confused. This is not the actual cylinder. This is the second injection. This will be four and three and four. So three and four go to nine. Actually, let me fix this because I did it too high. Three and four go to nine. And then the last one is two and six. Which is pink num the last one is number six and two. So pin number 10 goes to change the color. Right green. Two and six will go to pin number 10. Remember, yours might be different, so you gotta check which pin goes to what, but this is pretty much how it goes. Cylinder number one goes to the first phase or first injection time. Cylinder number two on fuel tech is the actual cylinder number four and three. And cylinder number three is two and six. Uh, here is where we actually I'm gonna use the resistors. I'm gonna use the resistor right here. I'm gonna use our resistor right here. And we're gonna use our resistor right here. So, to make it more understandable, let me draw it here. This is FT, that's your wire, your trigger wire for ignition, and then it goes into each coil. Let's say coil, just put a C right here, coil, right? So you're gonna add 100 ohm resistor right here. Hundred ohm resistor right here. This is to prevent if there's any electrical discharge, it won't mess up your fuel tank. That's that's the reason we add in this resistor. But so one of the easiest ways to find out which wire is your trigger. Okay guys, so next video, I will be showing exactly which pins you're gonna need, uh, plugs, uh, what sensors we're using in the actual motor. And also, we're gonna be talking a little bit of the differences between automatic and manual. Uh, so people don't get a little confused there because there is a couple of things that change in case you're running a automatic engine. Also, if you find the information valuable, guys, I would appreciate if you guys subscribe and hit the bell and let me know in the comments if I can improve something. I'm always open to um, constructive criticism. And thanks for watching. See you on the next video.